Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. We're in the projection room, and uh, my washer just went off. That's that's wonderful. So let's check the manuscript. It was late at night. The summer was almost over. Okay. Yay, death rally. Uh, can I play it or? No, it, it plays itself. Load your guns and get ready for death in this rally. All right, what am I doing? Um, there's a radio here. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, change the time. Does he know what time to change it to? What was it again? Um, it was late at night. That's late in. The, that's early in the morning. I wonder if it turns on. Yeah. Okay. And the summer was almost over. How am I gonna do that? Ah, there we go. Should do it, right? Uh, uh, uh. Hell, this isn't going right. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Stop laughing at me! You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got's going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you going to do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever. Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy. You know, antagonize, uh, antagonizing him never seems to go well for you. I don't know why you keep doing it. Your face down in the dirt again. The rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again, he enters the world. But now he sees the trap for what it is. A maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. Always here. There again. Oh no, don't change to it. I'm sure you'll have a chance to use oops. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a chance to use it soon. A manuscript page over here. Ah, there it is. Hello, manuscript page. Read to me. The Spectre. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and no. feathers. No. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to oh, escape God. my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. I hate you birds. You birds are horrible. So that's why I got the flare gun. So as long as I have some ammo for my flare gun, you're not going to be that hard. And a flashbang. Flip on all that stuff. So hopefully it won't be too bad? Question mark? We'll find out. Ooh, and spiders. Although these spiders aren't that bad. They're not the most monstrosities I thought they would be. Wait a minute. This is the first level. Oh, not birds again. My sentiments exactly, Wake. Gotcha. No. Oh. Where are you going? Land! Land, you stupid birds! Yeah, well, that was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. 
gonna turn this on. All right, why am I back here? Whoop! Oh. Talk to Emma again. Come here, birdies. Where are you going? Bye bye. Say good night. There's a manuscript page over here. Must be in this shed. Or not. Um. Ah, oh, there it is. It's on the ground. It's in front of the work shack. My best friend. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met, and all the things that count anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. He's like a faithful puppy. Unfortunately, he's just about as effective as a puppy, too. Alright, oh, looks like there's another... In here? I can't go in there. Damn it. Damn it! Yeah, it's the exact same level. That's SMG and everything. Emma? There's Emma. Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. What? You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I... I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was going to follow him in there. Sorry. Good. It's good you didn't. Yeah. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Yeah. Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? Just go get that battery. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. <laughs> I, I believe you. God, I feel like I might just lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? I've been living because it. Because my personal weird shit meter this just doesn't work. Look, I know something happened to me before. You're gonna be okay. If you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me. It's a big help. I hope so. Are you going to make everything blow up at the oil field again? I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. I've got an explosive personality. All right. Um, can I have the keys? Be nice. Oh, uh, no. Don't want the nail gun. Just the battery. That'll save time. Right, it looks like there's a manuscript page over here. Or, not a manuscript page. Or, yeah. Right there. Ah, there you are. Trying to hide from me. Let's see here. Night Springs, the cult TV show. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was Any Place USA. A place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. It was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, a framework I could build on. I had adapted it into a new story. This story. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of gotten away with away from you, so... And literally away with you. Hello. This chick just came up to me and said she's my biggest fan. I know. They all say that, right? And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves. We have a couple of drinks. And then things start happening. 
But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh-oh, right? She's got no idea. Watch this. This is gonna be priceless. Dude. I am so gonna strangle myself when I get a hold of myself. You're sick. Yeah! Did you see that? Oh man! Did you see her? Boom! Oh. <laughs> oh. animals. It's in our nature to imagine, to turn fantasies into legends, to be storytellers. But on a rare occasion, the Um, I don't think she could enjoy the TV show with you, Scratch. Yes, we know you wrote it. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, move on. Move on. And away. Away from here. Alright, we're going towards the railroad tunnel, except that I just saw a manuscript page. Ow. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you at? There you are. Gimme. Let's see, Night Springs, Arizona. Now Night Springs is in Arizona, although not for long. It's in Arizona because whatever the town that has become Night Springs is really called is located near one of the thin, worn places in the world where dreams and reality flow together and life is always a little strange. Perfect analogy for Night Springs. I can't return to the real world, I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. I can enter the strange little town of Night Springs. All I did was put in in Arizona for one night. Um, yeah, okay. So what about all the people and places in this Night Springs? Are any of them real? If they're not, why are you even bothering trying to save them? Seems like you well, should be should focusing be on just safe. Mr. Scratch. Perfectly safe. Spiders, you in here? Hello? Yes, perfectly safe. Hey, how you doing? Hey, come here! Oh, you're just gonna run away? What's this? Oh, the battery. That was now way too easy. To charge this up. Something's gonna happen, it has to. Bye bye. Alright. Oh, uh, oh, come on, guys. Now you're just getting annoying. I don't want pet spiders anymore. Go away. Alright. You done? Good. Ooh, there's a car over there. Let's check out the car. What was that? Oh, it's just a rusty car. Oh, well. Let's get out of here before the mine collapses. Ooh, the sun's coming up. Hello. Ooh. Didn't know I can get so many of them with one beam of light. Wow, that was really anticlimactic. It's like, oh no, it's spider! I mean, now I know I can handle them even if they swarm at me. Hey, you, you stay. Good boy. 
Alright, we got ammos over here. But, we're gonna have to go recharge this battery in the next episode.